Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from Central Illinois, where an international 5488 tractor is working on spring field work. During the video, you'll be able to spend some time out in the field with the tractor as it applies dry fertilizer with a Montag commodity tank, as well as working on strip tillage with a 12-row Dawn strip till bar. I would like to share with you the tractor's production history, specifications, and original price tag, as well as its important role in the history of international harvester tractors. But first, let's head out to the field so that you can see and hear all this big tractor action. International Harvester introduced the model 5488, 5288, and 5088 in the fall of 1981. These high horsepower row crop tractors replaced the company's popular 86 series line of row crop tractors that had been manufactured from the mid-1970s into the early 1980s. The model 5488 topped the IH row crop tractor line and was manufactured at the company's Rock Island Farmall plant from late 1981 into early 1985. A total of 3,951 5488 tractors were produced. International Harvester manufactured tractors in Rock Island, Illinois at its Farmall plant from 1926 through 1985. On May 14, 1985, the International 5488 was the last tractor to roll off the assembly line at this historic factory. International Harvester produced over 5 million tractors at the Farmall plant, which is a feat that is unmatched even today. Unfortunately, due to low grain prices, droughts, and high interest rates in the early 1980s, the agriculture market in North America greatly suffered and farmers did not have the purchasing power that they had had during the 1970s and International Harvester fell on hard times. On November 26, 1984, the company decided to sell its agricultural division to Tenneco, the parent company of J.I. Case, and that brought the end of production at Rock Island, Illinois, as a new line of tractors were developed by Case IH, known as the Magnum series that began production in Racine, Wisconsin in 1987. 
The International 5488 would become the largest row crop non-articulated tractor ever offered by International Harvester. It is powered by an International DTI 466B six-cylinder liquid-cooled 466 cubic inch diesel engine rated at 187 PTO horsepower. The tractor features an International Synchro Tri-6 STS transmission featuring 18 forward and 6 reverse speeds. The tractor has a capability of running from 1.5 to 18.5 miles per hour. It is fitted with an 87-gallon diesel fuel tank and rolled off the assembly line weighing in at 14,061 pounds and can be field weighted up to 17,240 pounds. The original cost of this tractor as a two-wheel drive model like the one that you see working in this video, was $66,515. When the tractor was equipped with a front-wheel assist, four-wheel drive front axle, like the model that was the last 5488 produced in May of 1985, the cost of that tractor was $78,340. I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time in this central Illinois field hearing and seeing this 5488 tractor at work. International Harvester has a long and rich history in American agriculture dating back to 1831 when Cyrus McCormick invented his first reaper. The company produced machinery for over 150 years and continues to produce farm equipment for a worldwide market as Case IH today. I'd like to hear in the comment section below this video, what is your all-time favorite international harvester or Case IH tractor? If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching and continue to watch this video through the end screen to see additional Big Tractor Power videos featuring International Harvester tractors.